Hey, welcome back. We have a interesting knife here today. And bear with me one minute. Let's see what we got. This is in here from an acquaintance here in the Pack Northwest. And da -da -da -da. Trying to get some info on it. <clears throat> Blau Rock Blades. Blau Rock Blades. Let's see what we got here. Fight in. Go ahead and throw that uh, all that info here on the um, screen. This is Blau Rock Blades. Our uh, BR before the one. This one comes installed with skiff bearings from the maker. I don't know a whole lot more about the knife or maker other than he's a German knife maker doing CNC custom work. If you can get a book spot, specified hand lights, blah, blah, blah. Oh, very cool. So, ooh, that is not what I was expecting. I, it, based on the pictures, I thought it was a lot bigger, actually. This is very nice. Interesting. Like a little lanyard thing or whatever, I guess. Do do do. Our uh, RWL thirty four. Let's get into this thing. Sorry, taking a little while here today. Let's try the flipper tab. Ooh, that is a sweet looking blade. It is definitely uh, beyond what I was expecting. I'm not getting a really easy like a rollout or a thumb action. I always look for this, like how much of the handle is in the uh, in the lock bar because that makes it pretty tough to uh, kind of hold it in a way where you can still, you know, properly thumb flip it out without lock, putting so much lock bar pressure on yourself that it doesn't come out, which is what's happening here. So this knife is susceptible to lock bar pressure. It's definitely an issue for me, not for everyone. For me, that's, you know, something I look out for. It's got an interesting little flipper tab on it. It's kind of, it's kind of weird because like you try and go for it and then your finger can go here, but it can't really like keep going because it kind of gets caught in this thing. So you, if you leave it there also, then it comes around and hits your finger. So that's kind of a design flaw where you have to get out of there. It's sort of a weird combination, right? Because if you need to get out of there, then you would want this to be kind of open so you could swipe down. Now, action aside, wow, beautiful, beautiful knife. I mean, the details are absolutely wild here. Um, and I don't know if he shared with me the price on this thing. Do, 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 do. See, I got it here anywhere. Hmm. Don't think I have a price on here, unfortunately, but I mean, it looks like it would be very expensive because it is insanely detailed in terms of how it's been milled, finished, lightened. This is pretty freaking cool. It's got a little something inside the scale there. What does that say? Number 63. And something else in there. That I cannot read. It may be easier to read on your screen because you're looking at this on a 65-inch TV or a big computer monitor, but I'm looking through my phone. Um, something maybe V1, like maybe the model number or something like that. <sighs> really nice knife. Definitely a bearing knife, by the way, in case it wasn't obvious. Um, very drop shut. Gravity drop shut for sure. Nice centering. Really nice reverse flick action. This one doesn't have perfect lock up and it's probably a little hard to try and fix that because it's proprietary so I won't really mess with it, but definitely doesn't have perfect lock up. Really crazy fuller. Um, good for a rollout. Good for a reverse flick. It does both of those pretty darn well. Um, cause then a rollout, I'm generally going to take my finger kind of off the lock bar as I go to do it and it's going to come out just fine. 
little guillotine just worried about taking out my pinky finger on this thing. Um, really would like to figure out the right approach. There we go, to get a good thumb flick. So you have to really keep your finger right across the top here, get into the sort of that middle fuller. There's like three different ones here, right? Get into the middle one, and then you can flip it out with enough leverage and with enough speed to get what you want. Again, kind of weird though, you have to watch out because this thing comes around and it could kind of pinch you in there pretty easily. It's not hard to get kind of stuck into that area. So that's a little weird. This whole area here, I just sort of wish this was not here and I think it would be a better knife without it. Um, but it's also a kind of a cool knife with it. So something we said for that. Um, not really a choke up point. That'd be another thing I'd love to see on this knife. A choke up point would kind of take us to the next level on the ergos. The ergos are really good here, um, assuming you don't have too big of a hand because it's a little narrow. It's very well cut out, right? You can see I'm not a big fan of having such a big finger choil here, but you don't have a forward finger choil, so you can kind of rest it there and work with it. That, that's okay. You got this pretty crazy compound. It looks like hollow grind, tanto craziness here. Beautiful edge. I mean, the fit and the finish are really sweet on this thing. So a lot to love here for sure. It's not necessarily like my design. There's a couple things I'd really like to see on this one. You really cannot get that out sometimes. It's pretty weird how you can just, uh, I'm trying to remember someone gave me a great term for that and I forgot what it was like lock guillotine or something, or lock, I can't remember what it was, um, <laughs> handcuff, whatever it is. Um, but definitely some design opportunities. I don't want to call them really design flaws, because I feel like this knife does feel is very intentionally designed, but some design opportunities that could make this like a truly great knife beyond all the things that it does well today. It's not as great as an all-arounder knife, but it's not bad for that either, especially if you're good with like one deployment method, just reverse flick, or maybe even like the occasional rollout. Pretty, pretty damn good for that. Like almost rosy level on the reverse flick. So I think of the best, the best reverse flick, it's this knife. And this guy is not quite as good as that because it's a little less intuitive, but it's right up there. It's really good. Very satisfying. Competing with one of my favorites. Gosh, this is such a good knife. Oh, I love it, love it, love it, love it. You notice it even more with a knife like this that's a little less intuitive, that takes a little getting used to. You just grab that knife and you just automatically reset into its perfection. It's just intuitive. Um, this one's not as intuitive, but it's more creative and very interesting, very interesting knife. I really thank you for sharing this with me um, and putting it on the channel for our viewers. Uh, this is really cool. A lot of really cool things about this knife to love. It does have an over travel stop by the way, which not all knives have in this kind of category. So nice to see that. Gosh, the flush finishing here on the pivots, the pivot hardware, the chamfered edges with the little milling on them, a really nice kind of unique milling here pattern on the handle, by the way. I mean, this thing is a beauty of a knife. I will absolutely say that. And there's a lot of good about it. I'd say it's probably only three and a half ounces if I had to guess. So it's nice and light. It might even be a little lighter than that. 3.6 ounces. Um, and you get, you know, a solid three inches of cutting edge there. So um, yeah, there's a lot of, uh, of goodness about this knife for sure, but a little over three inches and, you know, depending on how you measure it all out and stuff, about three and an eighth on the blade length and on the cutting edge, just to the interesting geometry there, actually. Um, 7.375 on the overall length and folded length, quite compact and efficient in what they've done here. So I guess like four and a quarter. Yeah, four and a quarter. Very cool. This thing would pocket very well, I think. Nice little pocket clip on it. Um, a little short, um, which was good because I never felt any hot spots in hand. By the way, no hot spots in hand. Really nice there. Um, but, um, you know, might be a little 
Eh, feels like it's gonna be pretty good. Feels like a darn good pocket clip. Let me try it here. I've got some good normal pants on for a change. Instead of my house sweats, a little thicker. So yeah, very cool. This is a maker to watch out for, for sure. Blau Rock Blades. So let's keep an eye out for them. That's all for now. Please like, subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.